Hello and welcome back to the last set of games in the loser's bracket round 8. Only one spot left and this time between Juan and Winchester. Let's go into the game. Uh, here we go. And we have uh, this time more expected again. Uh, Winch uh, Byzantines for Winchester and Juan both going for, for Byzantines. We've seen Eddie pick Saracens and win it, very impressive. But uh, in this game, we have Byzantines, so nothing new here. Let's go for the maps immediately, let's see what's going to happen. Um, just checking for boars outside, there's one boar outside, I think Juan can see it already, shouldn't be stolen. Um, Mingold for Winchester, let's go for him first. Uh, this map uh, forward, uh, I'm a little bit trapped in the wood, not nothing really major, but the position not too nice. The main stone also forward, he's got four deer outside, uh, one of which is already lured towards the TC. Boar inside, second stone outside, um, one boar in the back, second gold in the back, third gold in the back. That's nice for him, he's got two golds here, could fit a TC here if he wants to, fit a TC right um, either inside, which is not too good probably, or just around here. And he should be fine. Also Winchester uh, going for his uh, style again and taking the boar with the scout. Uh, only saving a little bit of village time, but uh, I guess he's uh, feeling comfortable with that. Um, again, now again going to lure the deer in. That's of course the problem there. If uh, Juan was actually to go out and scout him, uh, he could catch off the, uh, the scout and, uh, and Winchester couldn't lure more deer and would have to go over the boar as well. Let's see, second boar, one shot, two shot, and there we go, very nice. Uh, he knows what he's doing. Um, extra berries on the map, doesn't really matter. We have uh, four relics here, there's a triangle between the two players. This one maybe a little bit closer to Winchester, I guess this one too. Uh, this one maybe a little bit closer to Juan. We have extra stone on the map as well, we have one extra gold, we have a second extra gold. You can see now that Juan uh, is close to Winchester's base, he's found him. Mm, Juan got his deer in, they were, I don't know, somewhere inside. Uh, doesn't really matter because he's got them. Uh, no back base for Juan, main gold forward, one relic inside, which is good for him. Second gold on the side here, third gold, a little bit forward, the main stone relatively forward, the second stone. Mm, could be walled off actually, no problem. Mm, uh, wood lines of course are closed, but there is nothing in the back for him, so he may need to go aggressive here. I don't know, or he's gonna just try and boom a little bit. Maybe on the left hand side, uh, we could see TC come up on the main stone or something. But I don't know, um, Byzantines of course is more of a monk, uh, monk game, uh, at least most of the times. And we could just gonna wait and see what the players are doing. Plus players are advancing to field age right now. Uh, same population, Huahan two seconds behind, which is basically nothing. So no real difference here. Winchester uh, revolving there, um, putting a house here going for the blacks with the air market on the side so there's a little bit of a wall coming up uh, towards the front let's see how is Juan doing this uh, oh, almost upon a few winches to get enough resources to click up almost uh, can do Double predicts immediately, notice Juan, and uh, we can see Juan is going for a lot of villages and gold. This is indicating uh, like two or three monasteries and monk crush. Mm, double predicts for Juan earlier. Mm, deleted uh, a structure tree here, which was just annoying. Five farms should be enough to keep villager production. Uh, gold mining upgrade coming in, that's a very important one when you go monk crush, you want to get that gold in. And uh, Winchester doing. Uh, one doing horse killer. Winchester five villages in gold. Looks like he wants to go for maybe two monasteries here, but he won't go really monk rush. Also got seven farms already, and uh, three on berries. Let's see. I think he's gonna drop a TC or maybe even two, and try to boom this out a little bit. Um, monastery coming up first. Double monastery actually. There we go. Doesn't have enough wood for TC. Yeah, he does. One TC relatively close to the gold. Uh, and there's enough place from warm farm. He's on the wood line. Juan doing monasteries. One, two, three monasteries coming in as expected. Maybe even four. We might see four monasteries here for Juan. So he's going full monk rush. Mm, at least in early castle age. Uh, deleted a few pieces of wall. Monks are going out. Uh, he can see probably almost everything. I can, he can see all the relics. Yep, yeah, found them. And Winchester on the other hand. Mm, he healed the scout, but oh, losing it, losing conversion. Now double scout for, for Juan, that's even more dangerous for Winchester now to go out. A little bit slower. Anybody have atonement? I didn't pay attention. Yeah, looks like Winch uh, Juan has done atonement already. Winchester doesn't have it, so he needs to go back. Can't really take this fight. And I think Juan will, first of all, get all the relics in. 
Uh, those two shouldn't be a problem, especially seeing that uh, he's got two scouts now. And he also will go with the siege workshop forward, most likely. Mm, otherwise, the Monkrush doesn't really make sense. I'm just waiting for the villager to go. Uh, Winchester got three TCs up now. Yeah, mm, one a little bit closer to the main goat still, but also on wood. So he's got a line of defense here somehow. This one, of course, in the back. And uh, he should be fine for now, mm, depending on how fast Juan is going to push, and actually he's not pushing, he's doing a second TC right now. Uh, even the third TC, I didn't see the second one. Uh, probably he's been up for not even a minute, but he's got five relics in, which is gonna help him a lot. And now going for TC, he's going for more villagers. Winchester only four villagers ahead, and uh, House done 50, that's not good for him. 152, of course, with more monks here, more military units. And he's now starting to boom as well, got a lot of farms already up. And he should be fine, Sanctuary coming in for Juan just in case, but no Siege Workshop, not going uh, too aggressive, so uh, um, like, a f like a fake uh, Monk Rush, uh, like, like an early castle Monk Rush, three monasteries and then uh, boom behind this while having five relics, um, actually not, as, not a bad idea. I don't know if it uh, always uh, works. And now we can see Juan even going for TC number four. I think Winchester should be able to go up to Imperial a little bit earlier, it's got more gold in. But again, House is them on 60 population. That's uh, not very good from Winchester. He's going for barracks. He's got the university, he's got the monastery, so he has the buildings to go up. Also going with the lumber camp with a very nice position. He's gonna uh, chop wood there for a long time before, uh, first of all, having to rebuild another lumber camp and then uh, before having to, to run away or something. But something could happen. Winchester, as expected, clicking up to Imperial Age first. Remember, Byzantine's um, cheaper Imperial Age. Archer range coming up. Question is, is he going for Elite Skirmishers or maybe Crossbowman Arbalest then? Um, Juan is relatively close to Imperial Age, could buy his way up. He is on stone, he's got three more villages right now. Of course, he's gonna be behind in Imperial Age time and it doesn't look like he wants to buy too much food actually. Now, walling this, which is a smart idea, securing the stone. And I'm assuming it's gonna get cast up e either in front of the monasteries, protect the main goat, or maybe on this left hand side. I think the right hand side he won't really care about for now because it's not really easy to attack here. And Winchester is doing more archer ranges. Um, we see the few monks, and it's gonna be crossbowmen arbalest. Um, for which is three of first, maybe it leads uh, skirmishes later on. Does he have more TCs now? I think he's still on three, so he's uh, producing from two TCs. Um, and therefore, villagers eight uh, more for Juan at this point, who has just clicked up to Imperial Age. Winchester going for a second gold, is in third gold already. And not too many villagers on the main gold. Um, Winchester is on stone. Where is the stone for him? Uh, he's got 95 stone. Actually, he isn't. I probably bought 100 stone, but he doesn't have stone whatsoever, and that's interesting to see. He doesn't want to get a castle up. Um, Arbalest Bracer, Ballistics coming in immediately later on chemistry. And at the same time, Juan, what is he planning to do? Imperial Age uh, on the way, handcart coming in, but no barracks yet. He's almost got enough for for stone uh, for a castle. He's 11, 12, 13 villages maybe on, on stone. So 650 will be there any second. Now sending a few gold miners uh, to build a castle. Where is he going with this actually? He is moving out, but not uh, really going forward. Mm, being careful, being cautious, and uh, looking to defend the monasteries as well as the, the resources on the left hand side probably. Now there should, there should be quite some arbalest for for Winchester. He's got like 10, you know, it's, that's 8 plus whatever he has inside his base. Um, trying to kill a few monks, lost one to conversions, but a 3, 4, 5 dead monks already uh, for 2 Arbalest. A really good uh, fight. The castle will be up though. Mm, it was a little bit too late there. And Winchester now going with the Siege Workshop forwards, kept him on the way. He really skipping the, the castles. Doesn't want to go for trebuchets. Maybe we're gonna see Bombard Cannons later on. Second castle for Juan though, in front of the monasteries. Really interesting to see see, but I think he needs some army to defend this, because he doesn't have anything to counter rams, and um, uh, yeah, he could reduce trebuchets, which won't really help him at this point. Mm, 20 more villages for Juan, but Winchester is, uh, at this point, in a better position. Uh, also score-wise, Arbor is going around, going to try and find a few villages. Winchester didn't finish this wall, I'm not sure why. Uh, the wolf is gonna go down, doesn't really matter. First capture him on the way, Juan. Chain armor, heavy plow. He is actually uh, going the cataphracts. 
Wow, that's that's nice. That's amazing to see. Haven't seen this before. Pure cataphracts. Uh, maybe a few monks behind this. Uh, at the same time, interested doing sea tram and uh, with the cataphracts. Of course, when, uh, Juan has something to count at those sea trams. Let's go a little bit faster again, if that's possible. Game is not going really fast, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Plate boarding armor, padded archer armor for Winchester on the way. Arbalest number is increasing. The ram number is increasing. 82 villages for Winchester, 106. So it's almost fully boomed, but he needs a lot of economy to sustain cataphract production. I mean, actually to get the lead cataphract or oh, what's the uh, uh, chistic art, I think it is for the trampling damage of course the arbalest will be very very effective against uh, cataphracts here as long as they're surviving and two castles means Winchester should uh, will have a hard will have a hard time to, uh, to attack here but uh, Juan needs to go back with the cataphracts to take the siege rooms down also at the same time needs to repair the castle and therefore he's losing a lot of cataphracts here uh, does he have no no fletching no boat can I think that will a good idea against the Arbalest here. Mm, now the last siege room going down and Winchester has to go Winchester has to go back for now. Juan managing to defend at this point. He is now in a score lead. Uh, having a lot more villages. That's 25, 26 more villages. But more siege rooms on the way for for Winch. Uh, Juan not doing any siege. Uh, has a third castle inside his base protecting the stone as well as the gold here. Uh, main gold almost gone. And uh, Juan has to move his gold which is very soon. He's not taking the third gold here. Mm, again, Siege Rams moving forward. Again, the Arbalest from behind uh, attacking the Cataphracts, uh, killing a few of them. And I think if the Cataphracts are not going uh, to hit the Siege Rams now, the castle might go down, even with the uh, bonus of the HP bonus for Byzantines. Elite Cataphract on the way for Juan, and that's amazing. That's uh, costing like a shit out of, of resources, uh, but it's probably worth it, uh, unless the castle is going down. Because if you're losing castles and we see a uh, second castle is being hit at the same time from those uh, like two, three siege rams, uh, and losing all the castles is what's going to cost you the game later on if you're going Elite Cataphracts and can't reduce. That's just a waste of resources. Now, finally, uh, Juan going to take on those Arbalest, which is the smart at this point when he knows the castles are going down. Winchester is going to lose all his arbalest here. He's got a few hand clarinets, but I think it's not going to be enough. The three shrimps now going for the monasteries, but they won't really do too much damage. And Juan can get, can get the relics back here. Mm. Archer range is coming for Winchester, even more of them. And it looks like he wants to go to hand clarinets now to uh, fight the lead cataphracts. But I don't know if it's gonna work. And Juan in a very nice position here. Winchester only on 100 age population. That's not even 100 villagers. Juan has to get the relics back in, uh, has to repair the monasteries, but yeah, who cares. Could even go and uh, put the relics in a monastery in the back. Would have been a nice idea. Mm, at the same time, Juan needs some form of siege now. Um, he's doing only archer ranges. He's doing cataphracts, of course. Housed on 140. That's because he lost uh, 40 uh, housing population due to losing the castles. And Winchester at this at the same time um, it's given the time to reinforce to uh uh, to uh, get his army numbers back up and he's still got some siege rams inside the siege workshop he's taking the main gold now of course no raiding whatsoever he's taking the three golds inside doesn't know about this extra gold on the on the bottom side uh, Juan should have seen it yeah there we go and now Juan has to go back because um, unless he's getting good fighting position the hand cannon is really strong two men saw for both players now elite skirmisher logistica even for Juan he really wants to go to the cataphracts and that means he must have his uh, second castle somewhere no, uh, I thought I saw the. Uh, maybe it's done already. And now Juan has got fully upgraded cataphracts. He is moving in towards the end. Carneas against the monks as well. Gotta take down those bombard cannons probably. Need skirmish on the way for Juan, which is a smart thing to do. Also, Bracer on the way. Chemistry. Um, did he cancel the skirmisher? I thought he clicked it. Um, yeah, oh no, there it is. And uh, losing a lot of hand colonies here, Winchester, but at the same time, Juan, of course, losing quite a good amount of cataphracts as well. Now, elite skirmishers going forward, that's the, the right thing to do, and then put a cataphract behind them. Strike whenever you think it's, uh, the, it's the right time. Mm, again, Sea Trams hitting the monasteries, and now Juan saying, No, I don't want this anymore. I'm gonna put them behind my walls. Bombard cannon on the, on the field for Winchester here, a second bombard cannon as well. And now it's gonna be a, 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 a deciding a deciding factor will be who's gonna get the better fighting position, who can uh, one strike kill more than your, uh, than lose them. Elite Skirmish on the way for Winchester now as well, expected. Mm, Cataphracts moving to take the bombard cannons down, also hit a few. Uh, 
our hand carriers, but he's losing quite a good amount of really cataphracts here as well. The um, hand carriers being micro by Winchester, and they're doing a really good job. Look at this, the cataphracts going down one hit. But now Juan in a nice position with the elite skirmishers, I and mean, he might be able to take down all the hand carriers now. There's an archer coming in for Juan as well, wants to fully upgrade those elite skirmishers at the same time. He's still trying to produce more cataphracts, house them on 65. Winchester and 137, good amount of gold as well, but Sand Carineers are a little bit uh, desperate to get some kills or to get away, which uh, doesn't work right now. Mm, he kills a few more elite skirmishers, but he's losing all the hand carriers. Could have done a better job here, I think. Winchester now uh, trying to cut out this husbandry scale guarding armor, doing light calf. Wants to go for hussars. He's gonna have enough gold to do so to get the upgrade and then uh, spam some trash units. Also, Winchester is taking the stone on the left hand side. At the same time, Castle coming up for one to protect this gold and to take it on the right hand side. Doesn't take his uh, third gold right now. Gonna move some villagers there later on, I guess. But uh, he's got enough gold at this point, enough gold income. So he f uh, probably focuses on wood and, wood and food at this point. Mm, also trying to go for the stone as well. Uh, yeah, friendly next to each other, working from those villagers until somebody's sending military. Mm, one trebuchet up to hit the monasteries now, but the siege ram is gonna take this down really fast. And even going back, then elite skirmishers from both players. Uh, light calf is done, plus one, plus one. Cap now also for one. He knows uh, he needs some siege um, to, uh, to to control this middle to take the siege workshops down to sustain map control to secure map control. Um, Winchester of course going for a stone now as well, doing a stable just to get rid of the villagers I guess. And uh, at the same time, siege ram in no man's land will go down, cast this up. Few elite cataphracts coming out. Um, I don't know who is gonna win this. Winchester's quite far behind in score. Doesn't have the military now. And lead cat effects are just so strong, but um, Juan needs to, to really, really push very soon because uh, the more time he's giving Winchester, um, the easier it will be for him to, to counter this. Of course, Juan doing, uh, doing siege rooms is a very smart idea here. And yeah, look at the resources. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm saying Juan is, is a big favorite at this point. Hussars are not strong enough to face those elite cataphracts, and even against that, um, that mass of elite skirmishes, the Hussars are not too strong. They're going down pretty fast here. Mm, now Trebuchet a little bit more in the back, hitting this monastery. Might go down if the Hussars are, are getting there. But Winchester calling Chi Chi. He knows he's too far behind. He knows the elite cataphracts was a very smart option for, for Juan. And uh, there is no real way to counter them. That's the problem. Not even with but yes, um, which could have been possible. But Juan now uh, a lot of map control a lot more lead skirmishes and those hand carriers, there are not enough of them. So very nice game for Juan, managing to uh, defend the first push, uh, losing two castles but still uh, recovering and getting elite cataphracts out. Um, also the, the three monastery uh, early monk push was very interesting to see afterwards. Four TCs um, delaying the Imperial Age by a little bit but not, not too much and actually booming up to 120 villagers. Very smart play for Juan, for Juan, very good first game. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next games. GG.